Hi there, Dukat is here and this is another episode of Russian Indie Games Review Weekly. Today I'll show you 5 games for Steam, most of them are awesome. Prepare your favorite snacks and get yourself cozy, let's go! We are starting with the game named VCB Y City, developed by Kishmish Team with Unity. It is a small sandbox where you can walk, drive cars and see awful graphics with unbalanced gameplay and disgusting sound design. In other words, it's a shitty bad DLA clone. Despite the trash style of the game, some parts of it are made with taste. For example, I like the sounds in game. The sound design is made of mumbling and fart sounds. There are even two radio stations with some shitty rap crap. Unfortunately, you cannot take any car. You need to stick to the given car for each mission or to your own legs. The city itself made pretty bad. The minimap is not informative enough. And the missions are boring. For the first mission you'll have to go through like 20 checkpoints and listen to a dorky description of them from your in-game friends. During the second half of the quest, you'll probably start to think there's nothing else to the game, but you'll be wrong. There are even good jokes. Anyway, this game will find an audience. You can learn about it more in the description below. The second game today is called Insidia, developed by Comrade Kazinaka using his own engine. It is a simulator of carnivorous mutant worms set in a secret lab. The game's development started two years ago and since then it has evolved into a pretty interesting thing. The improvements to the graphics are obvious, very neat and stylish. The main feature of this game is that you need to wiggle like a snake to move forward. The more you wiggle, the faster you crawl. You can also slow down time using adrenaline and jump forward, always fighting for your life, eating other members of this flash fest. The game has local co-op mode and we all know that the co-op games are 100,000 times more fun. Comrade Kazinaka is a smart guy, presenting his game at every major indie game showcase at Russia to increase its exposure and popularity. And now Insatia needs your support on Steam Greenlight. Please vote up, cause it's not often such an original and catchy games comes out. By the way, you can vote by clicking the links in the description below. The next project is Don't Open the Doors, developed by comrade Anton Wright using Air. It's an isometric action adventure with role-playing and sandbox elements within the clay world. Seriously, all the graphics are made of clay and animated carefully using stop-motion technique. The major problem of this game is that gameplay videos in game screenshots do not represent the whole awesomeness of this game. Clumsy animations and dummy characters are blown away when you start to play it yourself. Neat location design, nice humor and, and an expressive warm friendly atmosphere. These are the things you want to thank an author for. You'll get some hardcore also, those freaking beasts just freaks me out. There's an open world where you can walk around and open the doors. Overall we have a tactically balanced action game, you can call it Tuny Clay Dark Souls if you want. By the way, my 4 year old daughter climbs up to my knees and tells me what to do in game with great relish. The game will release on November 12th and I can recommend it for purchase. You can learn more about the game by following the links in the description below. The next game called Breathing Fear and developed by Comrade Witcher using HTML5. It's a 2D horror adventure game with horrifying pixel graphics and difficult walkthrough. Our character is a runaway prisoner. During the rainy night he sneaks into an abandoned haunted house. By reading the notes in the house you begin to understand that there are some bad things happening inside and it is up to you to solve the puzzle of this house. The game's main feature is that you have the stress level. Dark rooms, loud noises and other screamers increase the stress level. Alcohol, dry and warm clothes, pretty paintings and other stuff decreases the stress level. You need to stay in the light to stop yourself from turning crazy too soon and the flashlight batteries are not everlasting. When a certain level of stress is reached your character has a heart attack. Shit happens. 
The game is already available on Steam for 3 bucks. I think this interesting adventure is totally worth it. And you can try it out by following the link in the description below. And the last for today is the game The Uncertain, developed by Common Games team with Unity. It's a quest puzzle adventure about the robot who lives in a world where every human has been wiped from the face of the earth. Our hero is an engineer who collects scrap and repairs the devices. One day, a space shuttle with an unexpected cargo crashes near his house. From that moment, Artie's peaceful life comes to an end. You'll be familiar with the controls in this game if you ever played the great games from Telltale Games. Similar movements, similar object interaction and the story containing twist within a twist. The game has been in development since 2014 and during that time it has become prettier and better. If you compare the 2015 and 2016 visuals, you'll understand that the guys weren't sitting around all this time. It isn't the first time we have reviewed this game and that last the first episode is available on Steam for 15 bucks. It has received a warm welcome by the players, you can see it for yourself by following the link in the description below. And that's all for now, I would like to thank Jack Powell for editing the English version of this review. You can see his sound design portfolio by following the links in the description. And if you like this video, please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel to not miss any new videos. You can also join our Facebook group and follow me on Twitter, all the links are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Play and develop only a good games. See you in the next episode. До свидания.